Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato, and today's episode, I'm going to talk about 10 of my favorite female indie rock artists. And you're like, well, what is indie rock? And some of you might know what indie rock is, but indie rock is lo-fi rock music, typically. Like, do-it-yourself. Used to be low production values, although that's not really necessarily the case. It's more like an attitude. This is like indie music started in the UK in the 80s. But, you know, when I think of indie rock, it could be anything from Dinosaur Jr. to the Pixies to Sonic Youth to... Even Nirvana, Bleach, and then it kind of became alternative rock. But these are all female artists that I like to listen to in the car when I'm driving around. These are not ranked in any particular order, but it's things that I think you might think are cool. Up first, we have a band from London called Wolf Alice. This particular song is called Yuck Fu. I just want you to feel for what this sounds like. That's like indie rock drum sound. Kind of uh, real dead snares. She starts on the seventh on the D chord. Love it. So what makes that indie rock? You might say, well, it kind of sounds like punk rock. Well, it kind of has a punk rock attitude to the voice. Da -da -da -da. Really, really intense singing. But it's really the, the sonics of it. The drum sound is an indie drum sound. And you'll notice that when you hear some of these other songs. Now, all the songs don't sound like that, but you'll get a vibe. Indie rock is kind of a wide range of things. Song number two is by Angel Olsen. This is called Shut Up, uh, Kiss Me. Angel Olsen is from St. Louis and has been around since, I think, 2011 or so. Kind of lo-fi guitars. This is another indie rock kind of thing. No auto-tune. has a lo-fi weird effects of the voice there once again the drums kind of dead that's the indie rock sound right there it's not polished you hear the bass drum it has a kind of a chunkiness to it, it sounds natural it's all naturally played it's not pro tooled to death it's not auto-tuned or anything it has real organic sound Artist number three is Big Thief. They've been around for 10 years or so. They're from Brooklyn. This song is called Shark Smile. Check it out. You notice the guitar style again. Electric guitar, but drums. Ooh, that's a perfect indie rock drum sound. Hear a little dissonant on that chord too? Dissonance? She was a shark smile in a yellow van. She came around and I stole the plants in my youth. A vampire, Evelyn, shone quiet as roses stain. It came over me at a bedtime. I like that little kind of slap at echo on it. Voice, beautiful. When you listen to this, it sounds lo-fi, but it's actually hi-fi lo-fi, because when you listen to the bass drum, it's really full sounding. So some indie rock artists, like Big Thief, they make a lot of records, and you know how to make records that sound lo-fi, but are actually hi-fi lo-fi, if you know what I mean. Our fourth artist is Courtney Barnett. Courtney is from Australia. This particular song is called Pedestrian at Best. Check this out. This is really up my alley because it kind of has a little Nirvana kind of feel. I 
love the weird distorted guitars like that. It has a real loose time feel. But boom. I love that vibe. I love things. Do, 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 do. It kind of reminds me of Dive by Nirvana. We've had four examples of songs that are indie rock songs, but they all sound different. But each of them employs a different type of indie music. Artist number five is the band Always. This particular track is called Dream Tonight. Check this out. It's a great band. Road here on the bus. Now you're one of us. It was magic hour. Indie rock and have keyboards. But the drum sounds, right? More lo-fi, not the big bass drum. Beautiful melody. Great, great melody. Now you hear the big low end there? So we went kind of from like real lo-fi to a little bit fuller with the synth bass. I'd like to take a second to talk to you about this channel. Believe it or not, 57% of the people that watch here regularly are not subscribed. So I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button now. This will help me get even more of my dream guests in the future. Thank you. Artist number six is called Haim. The song's called If I Could Change Your Mind. They're from LA. They've been around since 2006, 2007. Let's check them out. No. The drums. Please don't cry. Dead giveaway. I've never done this before. Drove a million miles. Even with the electronic vibe. When you Still has indie feel to it. I was too young to know you were the one to find. But if I was to say, I regret it. Great harmonies. Would it mean a thing? Cause every time I think, think about it. Memories take me back to all of the wildest times. Beautiful. You can see all these songs are really, to me, really melodic. It just has a certain vibe to it. There's an attitude to it, like punk rock. It's not punk rock, but it's not pop, yet it has elements of pop in it, and they have elements of punk rock in them. The next artist is a group of really well-known indie rockers, Julian Baker, Phoebe Bridgers, and Lucy Dacus. They have a band, Boy Genius, that they put out the first record in 2018. The song we're going to play right now, we're going to hear, is actually off their last record, which came out about a year ago or so. Let's check it out. Every clock's a different time. Beautiful. Seven in there, beautiful. Perfect melody. Nice. It's interesting, this Boy Genius record, for those of you that are not really hip to indie rock, I think is a great entry point, a way to kind of dip your toes in it and get familiar with it, because really melodic 
songwriting that have really, you know, verse chorus structures and things like that. You should check it out. Artist number eight is Sharon Van Etten. The song's called Every Time the Sun Comes Up. It's from the Are We There record. She's been around since the early 2000s, eh, probably 2009. So. Real lo-fi drum sound. In this song, you'll notice the snare has a lot of reverb on it. Almost sounds honestly like a snare sample because it's so consistent every time. But the bass is kind of out of control in a way because it's not all compressed. There's not a lot of master bus compression on it, which is kind of an indie thing. Now you're gonna hear some pop things as well. Indie rock can sound pop too. But typically, indie rock has more of these lo-fi elements. Artist number nine is Jenny Lewis. You might know her from Rilo Kiley or the Postal Service. She's been around for a couple decades now at this point, since early 2000s or so. This particular song is called Psychos, off the record called Joy All. Check it out. Cool, cool sound. But the drums, kind of dead sounding drums. Great sounding vocals. It's a merry go round. I've been working off that juju. You always hear those dead snares, right? But the rest of it is really well recorded. This will sound full in your car. Jesus Christ. You just need to like put a wallet on the snare and you get indie rock, basically. Or just tape it up a lot. There are no Not a lot of symbols though, right? How can I help you? That's kind of one of the things about it. It's time I get away, get away. How can I, how can I help you? Great singing. I think of indie rock as like center hitting snares. You don't hear rim shots. In, in, <laughs> in indie rock. So a rock snare would have a rim shot like Indie rock is more like a center hit, like this. And it just kind of has a thud to it. Thud sound to the bass drum. It, there's not a lot of top end to it. It's really these dead kind of sounds. Artist number 10 is St. Vincent. This is Annie Clark. The song that I'm gonna play is called Mass Seduction. It came out in 2017. It was actually produced by Jack Antonoff, I believe. It was co-written, at least by him. She was actually originally in the band Polyphonic Spree, if you remember from the late 90s. Check it out. Up, Black saints and a lady playing knock our soul. A punk rock romantic slumped on the kitchen floor. Nuns in stress positions, smoking marble rolls. Lolita is weeping, the bride is beautiful. My seduction. Now, compared to the other tracks, this song is really highly produced. Still has that indie rock vibe, but this is more mainstream. This is like the full range of what indie rock music can be. Love to know your thoughts. Leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.